<laughs> they have a lot in common, but they have a couple things different. One's a little bit, you know, freakier than yeah, the other. I told you guys yeah. I didn't know Usher. This yeah. is, I told you, it would come back to bite me. Okay, <laughs> there you go. There you go. I told you. So here's how the confession session works. All you do is you think about something that you currently are like, it's weighing heavy on your chest mm -hmm. right now, weighing heavy on your mind right now. But here's the hard part about it. To protect you from the normal hiding your shame, you have to put it in like one or two sentences. Oh, okay. Put a period on it, and you can't say anything after that. Okay. okay? I, I claim it, or do I say I have? No, no. So you just go like this. Like, for example, like like last week, our guest, mm -hmm. Lemon Harrington, he came on here. We're talking about his addictions, his struggles, his ups and downs. And when it came to confession session, he just said, my confession is that right now in my life, um, I'm not listening to my wife enough. I'm not paying attention mm -hmm. to her enough, and I'm not, like, really putting her as a priority enough period. Because in your brain, you're like, you want to explain it. You don't want people to think you're a bad husband. You don't right. want this, this, this. Okay. And your brain's going okay. crazy wanting to justify it. But if you just put it in one sentence, and, or just a couple sentences, then mm -hmm. in the after party, we'll talk about the experience okay. and we'll just put it out there. So what's something right now that you can just be like, mic drop, what's up? Okay, let's see. Oh, man, this is... This and is and by the way, if you go yeah. on and you kind of like go on... Mm -hmm. I'll tell it, I'll let you do it okay. and then I'll say now say it in one sentence. So, okay. <laughs> Thank you. He yeah. you got your back. Um all right, let's try this. So I am afraid I won't live up to my own expectations of myself. Period. Now since you don't get to say anything after that, try to describe what that's like just to put it out there in that mic drop sort of way. Describe how I'm feeling? Yes. Um, I feel like I have a lump in my stomach a little bit. I feel pretty heavy right now. But. What? There it is. Period. See? Period. I there feel you heavy go. right now. Period. Period. <laughs> I'll tell you what I felt when you said that. Because obviously, you know, I've been paying close attention to everything you're saying. You bridged the gap. Big step. You gave a TED talk, but now you gave a genie talk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Patent that. Copyright. <laughs> We're gonna start those up. Yeah. What did you think? Okay. That was a good one. Because everybody faces that. You know, everybody. You In one like shape or enough. form, huh? Yeah. You don't never feel like you're good enough. You never feel like you reach that expectation. So I definitely feel that for real. So Jeannie, mm -hmm. here on the Quit Tripping Radio Show, we just like to make it known that being vulnerable is extremely valuable. Mm -hmm. And there will be young women, because the good thing about our podcast that we record this, so go to iTunes, type in Q-U-I-T-T-R-I-P-N, go to ESPN 700 Radio, you can click on the link if you don't have an, uh, an, an, an iOS device, an Apple device, you can listen through there. And go to our social media, Q-U-I-T-T-R-I-P-N, comment, weigh in on the, the social contest, the help and hype contest. But when people go back and listen to this, this is timeless. You'll be able to go back and listen to this. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Let's say, I'm just using this as an example. Let's say you have a, a daughter someday. And let's say that daughter comes to you as a teenager and says, Mom, you don't know what it's like to doubt yourself and to beat yourself up and to struggle the way I do because maybe by then, it may look like you got everything figured out, right? Mm -hmm. You can look at your daughter, you can pull this up, you can press play, and you can walk away. Mm. You don't have to say nothing. Because if she hears you say it in real time at the time it was, and the time it happened, she'll walk away from there and like, dang, I, my, my mom was mm -hmm. really going through it. Yeah. So, quit tripping after party, visit the podcast, look for after party. We're going to continue this discussion. This is the reaction after the quit tripping after party with our special guest, Jeannie Wooler. We're going to get her information about how she felt about the uh, radio show tonight. Here, Kenneth Scott weighing on it. Me weighing on a little bit more. Quit tripping radio show, ESPN 700. We'll be taking a break for Valentine's weekend. We'll be back with Chelsea Hightower, former dancer with the star, judge, or not judge, but coach and dancer. Quit tripping radio show, we out. Yeah, that was good. That was good. And the battery lasted for the confession session. Oof. What battery? The one that goes for the camera? Smart ass.
So just take a quick little bit, and then yeah. we'll just start talking and bust bit, it out. A little bit of a break there, a little bit of a... Hold on. So it went through the whole show? The, no. Of course oh, not. I'm about no. to say. You kidding me? That's like the first time. Stops every 30 seconds or 30 minutes, and Ugh. we, yeah. Damn. 